In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between the moon and the weather and how that applies to your deer herd, your property, and your hunt. So there's a big difference between the moon and the weather, and that's what this video is all about. We're kind of going to go into detail about that and what the difference is between the moon and the weather and how that affects your hunt. So number one, the moon phase. Um, I know a lot of people rely on the moon phase too much where they don't even consider the weather, and some people don't even know about the moon phase. They just go out and hunt on bad weather days and just all of the above but moon phases do not predict deer movement the weather predicts deer movement um, Jeff Sturgis had a really good way of putting it he said that a bad moon phase in a good weather day is a great day to hunt and that a a good moon phase with a bad weather day is a bad day to hunt so it all depends on the weather if the weather is good that's when you need to be out in your stand and uh, we'll go into that a little bit more in the second point but just the moon phase in general <clears throat> relying on the moon is not good in any way and it's not going to predict buck movement or deer movement at all. Um, the only thing that the moon phase does is it might let the deer come to their uh, feeding their evening food sources a little bit earlier but it, not that it's going to change that much. But um, those cold fronts are really going to make the deer be up on their feet not the moon. And so that's point number two is the cold fronts. I strictly hunt cold fronts um, most of the time. If I hunt a warm day, it's going to be in a not a risky spot to hunt. Um, it's not going to be a high pressure spot to hunt if it's a warm day. But those really good food plot stands, morning bedding area stands, those are strictly cold front um, hunts. We're not going into um, a, one of our really good stands, a high risk, high reward stand, and we're not doing that on a warm day. We're only doing those on those really good, cool days. And so maybe like a mock scrape, a little travel corridor, that's what is um, a little less pressure on them. And so that would be a great uh, warm day to hunt if your access is good too. So cold fronts are really the way to go if you're hunting. Always make sure that I'm during the hunting season, I'm always looking at the weather all the time, finding out when those cold fronts are, and always preparing for those cold fronts to go out in the morning and in the evening. And so usually it's a lot colder in the morning than it is in the evening, so especially those cold front mornings are really great mornings to be out in the woods. And then number three is the feeding hours, and I kind of already mentioned that, is the moon phase does help the feeding hours a lot more, um, a little bit, but the cold fronts do it a lot more than the moon phase does. Always rely on the weather and not the moon, because the moon doesn't mean anything. So there's a bunch of different terms for the moon that I have not gone into because I do not hunt the moon. It's been proven over and over by trail camera data and even here on our property too. I mean a lot of trail cameras right down in the bottom left corner show you the moon phase and it's different each time and there's always a deer there. But when it shows you the temperature you'll always notice that there's a good temperature drop. Forty, It was say 70 the day or yesterday and today it's uh, 50s, uh, 40s. So that's a really great, um, really great time to be out in the woods is when that temperature drops. And so making sure that you're not relying on the moon and you're always relying on the weather will really help you to be successful this season.